Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Can all of you hear me? Okay, great. So, welcome to IMTS, and uh, thank you for attending today's class. How are all of you doing? Uh, we are meeting after a long time, I think. Mm, one second, let me let me upload the study material. Okay, great. Yes, so we are meeting after a long time. Yeah, as I was busy with some work. Anyways, so welcome all of you. Uh, I hope my voice is uh, coming crystal clear to all of you and uh, all of you can hear me clearly. The PPTs are getting uploaded and then we will start up with the class. Okay, who is new? Who is attending my first class? Ansul. Ansul, can you hear me? Ansul, Mumtaz, I can see. Um, okay. So, uh, is, is it your first class with me? Uh, if I am not wrong. Uh, Montaz, can you hear me? Miss Montaz? Okay, great. So can both of you introduce yourself to the class and me as well? What are you currently doing and uh, just a small intro introduction about yourself? So that other other students can also know about you and I can also <coughs> know about you. Okay, so uh, so today we will uh, we will be discussing about managerial skills, right? Uh, what all skills are required to be a good manager? Who all are managers? How many of you are working as a manager? in your firms or in your company in your organizations currently okay Nixon says myself okay good okay so Nixon what are the skills are required to be a good manager can you can you name some So me working as uh, at his last sales coordinator. Okay, good. Ansul, what about you? That go. Okay. As an administration officer, 80% of management skills and 20% of technical skills. Okay. Next one, I, I, I asked about the skills required, not the percentage. What are the skills are required? Others also. What are the skills uh, do you think are required to be a good manager? What do you think? Sonobar, Monachan, Monachan, can you hear me? Fahad, Seher, Akshata, Kelvin, Nixon, Prabha, Reji, Mamad Rejai. Good organizational skills, okay. Analytical skill, okay. Leadership, okay, good. Correct. Sounds good, fair enough. Okay. Oh. 
anyways uh, oh, correct so can uh, can all of you see the ppt i have a bit positive attitude very true okay so let's uh, proceed with the ppt now there are uh, two types of uh, in management skills good communication good leadership planning skills market information good re relation with colleagues correct so uh, we generally have to, we can uh, characterize uh, or segregate managers in two ways one type of a manager is a successful manager and one type of a manager is effective manager right both of, both of them are different uh, types so uh, we can define successful managers as opera, defined operationally in terms of the speed of their performance within the organization right they are successful because they achieve their target with with good with, uh, with good speed right they finish up their work or the tasks uh, that were assigned to them by the higher management they they achieve it before the, before the deadline those type of managers are called successful managers then we have effective managers they are defined in terms of the quantity and quality of standards of performance and the satisfaction and commitment of subordinates subordinates means your colleagues let's proceed to the next slide the golden rule management philosophy this is a very very popular uh, philosophy which uh, every mba students yearly i have a financial target to achieve okay so what are the golden rule management philosophy says trust people fairly but according to the merit right what does that mean trust people fairly but according to the merit now according to merit it means that according to the performance or according to the talent the that it, that individual has only then trust them right because you will find uh, lots of people in the, in the markets uh, according to the qualification yes correct you will find a uh, lot of uh, uh, people in today's market who will try to forge you right or who, who will try to bluff you with their good communication skills but they they are very very less uh, qualification or they are not uh, up to the mark as per the qualification for that particular a uh, particular thing or particular post which you are expecting right so uh, it is so uh, a good manager is one who can uh, who can easily who can identify such type of people right? so and they can they can segregate between them whom to trust and whom not to trust right so trust uh, trusting someone according to their merit or qualifications or their uh, output producing capabilities next make others feel important right now uh, at at higher management or uh, managers there are uh, there are two uh, two kinds of people one is one kind of people is one who will keep speaking about their good qualities right who will try to project themselves as an expertise in everything right and they will try to show others that they are nothing in front of them and the problem with others is that since the manager is is their manager they can't they can't disagree with them even even after knowing that he that he is uh, he just uh, uh, he he does the master of his own words right those are the skills of an ordinary ordinary manager right a good manager will never ever never ever appreciate himself he will firstly appreciate their team their team members and then at the last uh if if, if get the chance he will he will say something about uh, about the performance of his team right he will always project or keep the team first rather than projecting himself first that is the quality of a good manager right right so how does it help right uh, see if, uh, if the manager is start appreciating himself 
all his team will get demoralized because they will get a feeling that all the efforts are being put by put by the team and the credit uh, is taken by the manager right so right so uh, their motivation level will automatically go down right but once you start appreciating your team and others indirectly you are motivating them and indirectly you are appreciating their work or their hard work which will be beneficial both for you uh, as a as a manager and and for the organization as well and in in this way the higher management will appreciate your management or leadership skills that look he is a good manager who is keeping everyone happy in his team and the team is uh, doing a tremendous job right so this is another how many of you do this thing make others feel important and how many of you make yourself feel important practice the, this thing it, it is very good right try to make others happy make a target of that i today i will i will i will try to make three people happy in my whole day right so just set a small small targets or today i will i will try to i will try to feel three people important in my organization who are feeling low or something like that like to make others feel important yes yes mamta is very good how many of you believe in this thing of making others feel important Path is I. Monachan says yes. Me yes. Okay. What about others? Other ten? They don't agree with me. I I always like to make my colleagues happy. Therefore, they start paying respect. To Very good point, Nixon. Correct. Yes, but can't do always. Yes. See, uh, if you are uh, lazy, uh, if you are in a position of a manager, right? and and your whole performance will be just judged by the performance of your team then you have to do this thing am i right ready uh, it, it it gives lot of energy and happiness to myself to very very correct uh, mumtaz self satisfaction right which you cannot buy it from anywhere as a manager i agree okay correct what about others prabha what about you Ansul, Mohammad Rajay, what about you? Kelvin, what about you? What do you think? Okay. Baba, have you ever got the chance to make others feel important in your office or somewhere? Uh, yes, it does help to make a better day too. Correct. Okay, great, great. Mamad Rajay, can you hear me? Okay, let's proceed to the next uh, rule, which says motivate people by praising them. Very good point, right? See, you can get, uh, you can always may uh, get the best out of others. who are working in, under you or under your leadership or under your ma managership only by keeping them happy right because at the workplace there is so much pressure of so many things right uh, that uh, uh, employees or your colleagues hardly 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 get a chance to get a praise or praise from someone right so it is your duty as a manager to motivate them by praising them right you can you can uh, you can appreciate their their small small efforts right to achieve uh, to achieve a big target where uh, large, where effort of larger in intensity is required from, from those same colleagues right changing employees is not always fruitful right nourishing your current uh, current uh, current set of employees by praising them or by motivating them 
is always fruitful right my motivation really affect, uh, really affects my friend motivated me that's why i decided to study mba good good point fard now you can motivate others to go for mba right in this the chain the chain goes on the the positive change chain goes on and on and on okay <laughs> now uh, if i say i am ts online nixon then then all of you will feel that i am promoting i am ts it's up to them whatever institute whatever institute they want to go for mba there are so many right but but all of you can only fi only find me with iimts because i am not looking for any other institute but there are good teachers as well i am not saying that i am only the good teacher anyways let's proceed encourage feedback yes now uh, now a question comes in one's mind okay uh, i have done i have done this the these activities today to motivate others i have tried although this is the best available online study so yes actually with uh, really with online uh, online studies that you can you can uh, take it from the comfort of your bedroom or room or home right or from the or from the comfort comfort place of yours right and uh, so this is a very big advantage right and also another advantage is uh, that uh, here you can go through the recorded class as many times as you want because in in live classes in face to face classes what happens is you you go to the class you you, you study you come home you forget 50% of the thing only 50% of the thing remains in your mind right so with online classes this is the benefit right that same concept is is being uh, is is being taught to you from the comfort of your home you you don't have to travel a lot your your traveling expenses are saved right and you can study from your home you don't have to care uh, take care of your clothes right to to wear right to to wear <laughs> professional clothes to go and take the classes right yes that's true others are only providing books taking the fees selling their degrees that's the problem with them right they are just uh, degree selling institute they are not selling the knowledge right so with degree degree is secondary but getting knowledge is the first priority right so you can always motivate your friends to go for mba as as it will help in grooming their personality i'm not saying from imts they they might can take from imts or right <coughs> or they can take from any any institute they want anyways let's come back to the topic so i was saying that uh, it is it is also very important to to get the feedback Uh, as a manager right whatever active whatever actions you are taking you right so there should be some platform or something something like that so that you can you can know that whatever actions you are you are you are taking or whatever things you are trying is uh what to say uh is giving results right so how to do that by 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 encouraging your employees to give the feedback but for migration purpose it is not counted i don't think so nixon if you have an mba degree it will it will it will count especially for the, for the working employees it is very it is a very good thing right it will it will help in getting the promotions or appraisals right it is it is very helpful in getting promotions now and also you have uh, management level skills or management level knowledge which you can implement in your daily activities in your offices or at your workplace 
Okay, Numan has joined. Numan, can you hear me? I think Rajiv has also joined. Okay, great. So, good evening and welcome to IMTS, Numan. Rajiv, good evening. How are you? How are both of you? Okay, so the topic that we are uh, discussing today is about managers and managerial skills. Okay, now suppose if all of you are managers, what, how will you uh, take the feedback from your team? What all, what all methods are there to get the feedback from your team? Appraisal. I'm seeing the feedback. How how will you get the uh, feed daily reports? Okay, good good point. Daily activity report conducting meetings, okay. Action plans are defined to everyone, okay. Daily performance report, supervision, mention monthly report and invoice value per month, okay, good point. KPI is okay, good. Good communication with the staffs, okay. Correct. Yeah, so all of you are correct. Next, uh, next rule, okay. Let's move to the next rule. Sandwich every bit of criticism between two layers of heavy praise. Analyzing achievement graph. Good point, Mamta. Very good. Key performance indicators. Okay, KPI. What does that mean? Sandwich every bit of criticism between two layers of heavy praise. What does that mean? Can anyone explain? Sandwich every bit of criticism between the two layers of heavy praise overcome the criticism very good point no man yes always try to overcome the criticism with your performance always try to answer your critique with your performance rather than with your words that's what uh, champions do or ma or good managers or leaders do they will they will never get themselves indul indulge in any sort of argument about their criticism right at the time of criticism they will keep quiet not say a single word and then they perform and troubleshoot <laughs> Okay, with that, right? So always try to answer with your performance. Take criticism in its positive sense. Yes, that's the attitude that uh, a good manager should have. Always take the, the criticism in a positive sense. Okay, uh, Sarfaraz has joined. Sarfaraz, Samir, can you hear me, Mr. Sarfaraz? Mr. Sarfaraz, can you hear me? Bring both parties together to resolve the criticism. No, no, Nixon. No, 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 no. Right. It might be possible that they that they that they don't agree. Uh, okay, great. So, good evening, Sarfaraz. Uh, Mr. Sarfaraz, welcome to IMTS, and thank you for uh, attending today's class. My name is Vashisht. Right, so the topic that we are learning today is uh, managerial skills and uh, 
what all the skills are required to be a good manager right so we were just uh, going through the golden rule management philosophy of uh, of of being a good manager they call failure responsibility and giving success on the team very good point no man yes a good manager always uh, always uh, is always first in the row or first in the queue to take the uh, responsibility of failures and uh, and and the last in the queue to take the uh, appreciation of the success okay let's move to the next point have an open door philosophy what does it mean have an open door philosophy so for us what what does that mean as a manager have an open door philosophy numan fatima mumtaz welcome all comments okay welcome all okay welcome all yes rajiv said it open door philosophy means it should be open uh, open to discuss any sort of any sort of uh, ideas yes any sort of matters or ideas or uh, any sort of discussion should be ready to to discuss any sort of material uh, of, of any sort of ideas welcome critical decisions okay correct right so a good manager is one who is always open for any for any kind of ideas right no no protocol barriers yes right so everyone so so that everyone feels that uh, they are contributing towards achieving the goals right now there are few managers uh, Can you hear me? Can all of you hear me? Okay. So what I was saying is, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, fine. So what I was saying is that a good manager is one who should be open to all sorts of ideas, right? It should it should not be that uh, he has a certain idea in his mind which he will implement. O only that idea will will he uh, he will implement. it might be possible that there is a better solution to the problem than uh, than what 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 was in his mind right so therefore a, a good manager is one who is always open open to all, all all sorts of discussions or ideas related to any topic how many of you have this quality of open door philosophy Rajiv says me. Okay, good. That's good. Manachan says yes. That's good. Yeah, it is a very, it is a very good quality. Yes, we as HR are doing that. Oh, great. Sarvara, Mr. Sarvara says yes. Okay, that's good. Okay. Anshul says yes. That's great. Okay, good. So all of us uh, should uh, should adopt this philosophy of open door philosophy. Learn many things from others' mistakes. Yes. See, uh, what obstacles a manager uh, uh, or 
faces uh, in adopting this philosophy, this last one, open door philosophy. One kind of thought will come in manager's mind. I am his manager. Why should I listen to him? Why should I? Why should I implement his ideas? I am a manager. Whatever I am thinking is right. One kind of thinking is this, which comes in man, in most of the managers' mind. Right? They don't want to listen to their juniors, or or or, or if someone is younger than them, they won't listen to them. They will say that, oh, I I have more experience than him. Why should I? Listen to him. I have spent more time in the industry than him. Why should I? Why should I take his ideas? Right. So all these are rubbish thinking. Yeah. So a good manager is one who should always be open to all sorts of ideas from all sorts of people. Yeah, that's you. Okay, let's proceed in the next slide. Help other people get what they want, right? So helping others people in achieving their goals is also a good managerial skills. Never hide behind policy or pomposity. Right? Never try to hide your uh, failure. But always be first to accept your failure, and uh, and and work hard to improve or overcome that failure. This is the golden rule manager. Hello. Hello. Can all of you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, I uh, I got disconnected. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Let's proceed. Okay. Now the effective management of people. This is uh, the the basic managerial philosophies that is the culture of management recognition and credit fair and equitable treatment emphasis on end results staff and customer satisfaction positive action on individual basis involvement and availability consideration respect and trust the culture of management nothing much to explain in this just Proceed to the next slide. 
now let's see how old type of managers are there and, and how new type of managers work old type of managers thinks of self as manager or boss they follow the chain as command they works within a set of organizational structure now let's see how new new type of managers work they think of self as sponsor team leader or internal consultant instead of thinking of self as manager or boss old by age uh, no not old by age uh, 15 20 years back i am talking about the, what the scenario was deals with any one necessary to get job done right like earlier earlier type of managers uh, don't chase people uh, right to get the work done because uh, because they follow a, ch a certain command right they cannot go out of the line to get the work done but nowadays uh, a manager can do anything or speak with anyone keeping behind his ego or his attitude or is seniority to get the job done changes in organizational structure in response to market change let's move to the next slide old managers makes most decisions alone right nowadays uh, the manager old managers hoards information hoards means hide information old managers tries to master one major discipline they demands long hours but the new managers invites other to join in decision making right instead of taking decisions alone uh, right they will they will insist their team to help in in reaching the final decision they share information with the team instead of hiding it they try to master broad array of disciplines right now is nowadays you will you will find lots of managers with multiple skills right instead of having uh, expertise in only one skills the demand demands result right so it's more result oriented nowadays so how many of you uh, like the old manager philosophy and how many of you like the new manager philosophy okay fatima says new manager or monasin says new manager good i'm sure none like old manager philosophy okay new manager philosophy so what is new manager okay so it means that all of you are into this generation manager okay okay that's good that's good nice fair enough fair enough good okay new ideas yes now how assessing a manager's effectiveness okay just read this thing and i'm just coming in a minute okay just excuse me for a second in the meantime you can read these three uh, three three points
Okay, I'm back. So, uh, the parameters for uh, can all of you hear me? Okay. So, uh, the parameters for uh, for judging. Uh, uh, the managerial skills of an individual uh, are these three. Uh, the strength of uh, motivation and the morale of the staff. Right? If the morale of the staff are good, they are happy, it means that, your ma that the manager is doing a good job. The success of their training and development. Right? Uh, all right so a good manager is also responsible for the uh, training and development of their employees the creation of an organizational environment in which staff work willing willingly and effectively right so so a good manager is one who who is keeping the working environment good fresh where the employees are keen to work meeting important deadlines very important right so for for achieving each goal a deadline has to be set accuracy of work level of complaints a manager should uh, should always address the complaints Adherence to quality standards, right? the quality uh, manager uh, should ensure that uh, the quality, quality standard of work done by him or his team uh, is, uh, is matching the company's standards. Productivity. So these are the uh, parameters on which we can assess a manager's effectiveness whether the manager is effective or not clear any doubts so far anyone has okay and last is uh, adhering to budget set right it means that uh, Achieving the the set goal in in the in the budget allocated to him. Next slide. These are the success uh, domains of any any manager: personal growth, relationship. All right, a good manager is one who who has good relationship.
okay let at a different degree okay but now what do we mean by emotional intelligence it is the ability to monitor your own and others emotions and deal with them effectively leaders with emotional intelligence are more likely to detect friction and eliminate conflict more flexible better situational leaders right so they are good at handling the situational uh, situations <coughs> i don't have emotional intelligence rezi says okay rajiv says i'm pretty correct the basic leadership skills how you manage like uh, philosophy style approach attitude emotional intelligence motivating and inspiring others to high levels of performance effective leaders know how to lead in any given situation with any given group of individuals right so they know how to get the best out of their team or whatever team they were given effective leaders is very rare and extremely valuable to organization organization that why you have seen that their their salaries are so high because they are very valuable to their organization training and development stress management what is stress how do you define stress how will all of you define stress very common term these days every moment i am Stress. stress is the unconscious it is the unconscious uh, preparation to fight or flee that a person experiences when faced with any demand unrespected workload or unnecessary problem yes correct miss sangar stress or the personal event that triggers the stress response now how to approach your stress fight fight with the stress or flight flight means run away gap between expectation and achievement okay so potential negative consequences of a destructive job stress burnout cycle so this is the cycle intense or long term stress exhaustion and burnout lack of energy emotional distress bad attitude poor self esteem what could be the possible effect 
lower performance, lower satisfaction, workplace rage, personal problem, poor health. Sources of stress at work. What could you think the sources can be for the stress? Let's see how many of, of you have experience in this. What could be the possible source? Target, achieving the target, yes. But if, but if you are a sales guy, then only. Deadline, correct. Fatima says deadlines, okay. Any other source? Taking unnecessary burden, okay. Mishandling of project, okay. Okay, so let's see. Work demands. Someone mentioned the demands. Okay, task demands. Change and uncertainty. Lack of control. Career progress. New technologies. Work overload or underload. The role demands. Role conflict. Intra role. Person role. Role ambiguity. Interpersonal demands can be abrasive personalities. Sexual harassment. Leadership styles and physical demands can be extreme environment, strenuous activities, hazardous substances. Poor relations with colleagues and customers from aggressive clients and colleagues. Yes, very good. Non work demands like uh, family demands. Marital expectations, child during daycare arrangements, parental care. And personal demands can also be self improvement tasks, traumatic events. How to combat stress? It means how to fight with the stress. It's mental. If, if it is a mental stress, count to 10, control your thoughts, fantasize, ignore the problem. Meditate and yoga, uh, like focus point, control your breathing. Think about how you will be a better person, for, right, uh, in overcoming your failures and how to get success. <clears throat> how how do you how do how do all of you overcome stress? What are techniques all of you all, all of you apply? What do you, anyone wants to share? How to how they overcome stress? Let's see if some interesting technique comes out. Music listening, okay? Yes, it's a it's a good thing. Music listening. Talk to beloved. Yes. Take long breath counting one and release breath count double than before. Okay. A deep breath. Okay. Think about people who is taking higher stress than me. Okay. Good point. I open eye dreaming. I know it's a funny technique, but it's work for me. Okay. Have patience. Think cool mindly about the problem. Okay. Good point. <clears throat> okay. Fair enough. So it was good. Laugh loud. How can you laugh loud I feel in the in, in your in your office? <laughs> all of all all of your colleagues are employees things like you are in here. Think about funny things happened in past then then changing the mood. You can you can also watch uh, comedy related videos on YouTube. That is also a, a good thing. I have practiced it and it's it's paid off, right? You can view comedy related videos on YouTube. So that's also a good way of releasing your stress. Right. 
I am seeing beautiful lady as beauty. <laughs> it reduces stress. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Walking few minutes. Yes. Okay. Now, if it is a it is a physical stress, uh, strength, massage, exercise, aromatherapy, reflexology, right? If the stress is related to the money, prioritize, delegate, diet, sleep well, laughter. So all these are the ways to overcome your stress. Maintaining your work-life balance. The importance, changing social scene, changing work culture, increased work time, dual income families, steps to achieve work-life balance, discourage employees from working late, take a regular employee satisfaction survey, provide vacations, and flexible time. So that is all for this topic. If any one of you have any questions, you can ask. Or we can wind up the class. No questions, okay? Papa says nothing. Okay, great. So that is all for today. Thank you very much for coming to the class. See you, see all of you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. And please fill the feedback form, all of you, right? So that I can I can get to know my performance. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. You can get the uh, this PPT from uh, what the word is called LMS. I will ask the coordinator to upload it on LMS, and you can get it from there. Okay. Okay. Good night. Thank you.